What are you doing? This seems dangerous. That looks secure. Okay, I'm not riding behind you. <laughs> I love you. It was so pretty out there. Gorgeous night. A summer evening does not get much better than this. My God, it's like oh, this is an awesome spot. This is so. This gives me perfect Indiana vibes hard right now. Yeah, this so it's like the road that I used to live on as a kid. Just plopped in the middle of the field. Wow, what an evening. Look at the little birds. This is a magical evening ride. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. All right, so we are down in South Central Vermont, I guess I would call it, it's where my mom lives in the little town of Jacksonville. And it is just about the most perfect late summer evening we've had all year, I think. It feels like fall's coming in hot. I love it. Yep, there's little signs of foliage. I think you saw that in our last video too. No humidity. It's later in the evening. We've been wanting to take a golden hour a gravel ride around here because golden hour around here is just, it pops so beautifully. So yeah, we're just gonna take you guys on a little relaxing gravel loop through the H.O. Cook State Forest. It's a really cool area. A lot of people don't even know it's there. Even some of the people who live here don't know it's there. We are on McMillan Road that takes us there. And it's beautiful. The beauty is pretty much inescapable in this part of New England. So we're excited to show you. We're just chilling hard today. We helped did a lot of yard work around my mom's house. She's got 10 acres to maintain. We're tired, but it was just too nice to not go for a ride and take you guys along. Was bumpy. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous night. Wow, what a night. I know it's pretty on the camera, but I really wish you guys could be here right now just to feel the summer air is incredible. It's making me so relaxed that I, I, I almost feel like I'm too relaxed to ride right now, but wow, what, a, what an idyllic, beautiful evening on a perfect back road in rural America. Wow. You wanna go in the bucket? You're like, buddy, you wanna go in the bucket? You were meant to be a bike cat. Woo! I know exactly where I am right now. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have no phones, no bike computer, no GPS. Kind of just going by going by feel here, but I've run this road before and I just recognized it, so we're good. We know where we're at for now. I am just in love with riding a gravel bike in this area or any bike. I love where I live, man. I love our, our whole entire area of New England is just magic. It's where small town, quaint rural America still exists. 
Wow. Vicky, I think there's a cool cemetery up here. Those of you that have tuned in for a while, you all know that Nikki loves a creepy old cemetery. And those of you that are new to the channel, how you know. This goes pretty far down. This is where I got lost running and I ended up running 18 miles when I had maybe 10 planned. We're in that same predicament because we have no GPS and we're just, the curiosity <laughs> is actually gonna kill us. Curiosity kills us every time. So do we just keep going because it's beautiful or do we turn around? Let's go a little further. What do you always say? <laughs> Famous what last words, right? Whoa, look at their sunflowers. Oh my god. The van's cool. Wow, man. There's like this, I don't know, this like wave of tranquility that comes over you when you ride in this part of New England. Yeah, I think we should turn around. This is crazy. Like if we end up going down this and, get, and having to turn around, we'll be back. We won't, I don't have a light or anything with me. Yeah. As much as I want to keep going. Why are we no why is neither of us turning? I don't know. <laughs> H.O. Cook State Forest right now. We blew right by it, got lost, and now we're back again. We talked to a local rider, met him on the side of the road. He was really nice. He lives right in the area, like right off of this road, and gave us some good info for a ride tomorrow. Doing us a funny look at the milk crate on the back of your <laughs> yeah. Not very lightweight. No, definitely, I'm oh definitely not a weight. Right I am not a weight weighty, that is for sure. Wow, what a spot. Those of you that live in New England, you're in Massachusetts right now. Western Mass is like a different state from Eastern Mass. They don't even feel remotely the same. It feels like Vermont. It's just an amazing part of Western Massachusetts, the Berkshires and the awesome, awesome area. Look at this. I mean, it's just These wilderness. Mm. Yeah, the trees are huge. Big old white pines. There's a trail network in here, just to show you guys. See a little, little kind of trail area in here. It's really pretty. You won't see anybody on this road. I've never seen anybody else on this road. Wow, it's dark in here. Wow. Oh, it's so pretty. What is this area? These trees are so cool in here. Yeah, look at this cool area. All log scrap. Whenever we ride at this time of day, yep, you're exactly right. It feels like we're bike packing because it was always like when we get in at the end of the day, we're like looking for a place to camp. And usually we're in a weird forest, yeah, and we're usually in a weird forest that gets dark. This is a camp spot. What are you doing? Being intense. Being intense. I'm I got you. Here, you're not selling it. You're not selling it. Yes, yes, yes. This is fun. Hell yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's chunky. Wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow, that was aggressive. Man, it's pretty 
pretty dark in here. It's hard to see. I'm, I'm kind of being cautious. This is so good. It's like mountain bike light. Check up here for Nikki. Where does this go? I'm kind of glad I stopped right here. This is like a hellacious, loose, very sharp, like more than 180 degree corner. It almost like pinches back in on itself and it's steep right here. So I'm just gonna wait for Nikki. Here she comes. Nice quiet little climb. Look at the way the sun is coming through the trees. That's magic. That is magical. What? Oh, amazing. The trees look like they have, they're like illuminated. Like the leaves themselves almost look like they're producing the light. Wow. Wow. Golden hour rides. Believe it. Man. All right, so we're still in the H.O. Cook State Forest, but it just kind of turns into the neighborhood. When you combine the end of the day lighting in late summer, with rural New England, you get this thing that doesn't feel real. It feels fake. Like you feel like you're riding in some movie set of a beautiful rural area. Wow, even this like paved road is, I mean, who cares? Who cares that this is pavement? Here are all the crickets, little peeper frogs, the hermit thrushes. Thank you, by the way, for everybody that in the last video that let me know what that bird was that I love. Just a steady pedal, an idle breeze, perfect sun, so relaxing. So we went from Vermont to Mass, and now we're back into Vermont. Yeah, this is a beautiful little loop. I'm trying to be better at putting the Ride with GPS route links in the description. So I'll definitely remember this time. So you guys, if you're in the area, uh, which I highly recommend, yeah, you know, you know a few routes. We're on a little bit of a little bit of pavement here for a bit. But honestly, these Vermont back roads and these Berkshire back roads, you don't even care it's pavement. You really don't because you're gonna hit gravel eventually again. But what do you guys think? When you go out for a ride, are you turned off by pavement or is it all about the scenery? Because for me, it's all about the scenery. For Nikki, it's definitely all about the scenery. The gravel is, you know, definitely a priority, but I don't, uh, I don't scoff at a beautiful road like this when the sun's going down behind the woods line. I mean, come on, come on, right? Amazing. All right, we're almost to the free shit house. Nikki, Nikki is charging right now. Nothing gets this girl excited like some free stuff in a driveway. Oh my God, what do they got? Everyone needs a gift from us. Your mom. That bag, this like, thing. Look at all these tools. Always a summer, probably a good book, these who knows? Oh, perfect. Lisa. All right, let's 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 get this thing loaded up. Big ticket item. What are you doing? This seems dangerous. I mean, that looks secure. Okay, I'm not riding behind you. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's see. I mean, I feel like that was worth a stop. Yeah, I feel like we just robbed them, but it was free. How you doing guys? Good. We come bearing gifts. We went to the we went to the free shit house. I think you're gonna be pleased actually. Yeah. Next year we'll present it to you. 
Here, I want to show you your gifts, Mom. I, I don't think you're going to hate them. We stopped at the free shit house. We scored last free time. Remember house. the thing we got? The spice rack? It's Look at this. You got yeah. a grub hoe for your grub oh, problem yeah. that you got. You've got a dandelion yeah. picker, weed, puller. I like your father picker. had, Lee. Just yeah. some extra some gardening hole. tools. Yeah, I like these. Right? A sprayer, because you guys have got to do your lawn. And then look at this thing. Yeah, that's an edger. We rode with that we on our, in to, the. <laughs> we rode with this in the milk crate for a mile back on the main road. We had to pull over because it was poking out into traffic. Wow. It's gonna hurt innocent people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we have two of these, but actually this is a never hurts. One. Never yeah. hurts to have extras. Yeah. yeah, in case I get a, a gang out here to do it. <laughs> All right, let's right, make a fire yeah. and make some dinner. This is an awesome night. That ride was awesome. Thank you.